I'm just sitting up here admiring the color on this car. Like, y'all ever just admire a stranger's car? She is bomb. I don't know if y'all really picking up on the color, but this is like a rose gold, a pinkish. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I could definitely see myself in a car like that. I don't even know what type of car that is, but she's born. I love the old banana peel in my car, and it smells so good in here. Who would have thought? It smells so good. What does it smell so good? See how much you made. By the way, I'm a hostess. Two dollars. I get excited because it's just like I don't expect anybody to tip me. Like if I was a server, then yeah. But I'm just a hostess, like, what you tipping me for, you know? Like, I'm not serving you, but people really um, enjoy when you're inviting and you're just inviting and you welcome them in. Like, I'm the first person they see when they walk up in that job. So, it's very important, like, how I greet them and how I take their order and stuff like that. Anyways, my biggest tip though was fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, and I think he tipped that much because um, when I was checking his order, making sure everything is correct or whatever, I accidentally dug my hand in these in this man food, y'all. Like, and I was just like, oh my gosh! And he didn't notice. Him and his daughter didn't notice. But I knew what I had just did. And it was either I owned up to it or I just kept quiet. And like, ew, I just, uh, I couldn't. Like, that was disgusting. I wouldn't want anybody to do it to me. Why would I do that to somebody else? So I said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to get this made over for you. I dug my hand in it. And because of my honesty, because of my pure honesty, he rewarded me with $15 tip for you. Don't play with it. That's 15 16 17 and then I got another tip on the on the credit on the card today. It was two dollars, eighteen, nineteen, I'm almost twenty dollars in tip. Go for a period. Being a hostess, who would have thought? I didn't even know hostess get tips. So I was like, what? When my boss told me, I'm like, what, girl? I get tips. So period. But anyways, yeah, girl, we are on our way back home. We are on our way back home, home, home. Today was pretty good. Let me make sure. I'm not, I hope I wasn't showing my work shirt wasn't showing at all. Anyways, I don't have to go through the car wash, actually. But a good vacuum will do for me because I need to throw them water bottles away. Y'all, tell me why the other day Jaden broke my freaking water bottle. My water bottle that holds a gallon of water, he broke it. I was not the happiest because I take that water bottle to work and that water bottle was not cheap at all. Story time. So, my first gallon, uh, gallon, my first water bottle that holds a gallon of water, I got it from Target, right? It was on sale for $12, right? It was pink. It was just so cute and I loved it. I left it at a restaurant and never got it back, right? Um, went to Target the next day and tried to find that same one, sold out, of course. So, the only ones they had were these purple ones that were $32. It ain't, it ain't 
been a lot of y'all, but a few of y'all like, dang, the popos is ah, dang. Anyways, like four or five of y'all asked me about a PO box. About a PO box. Oh, let me show y'all something real different. These. Y'all ever had these before? If you're from Texas, y'all ever got these from Buggies? I've never tried them. I'm going to try them one day, though. But these are crazy. Dark, dark chocolate nuggets. That's crazy. Beaver nuggets. This beef jerky. Hot and spicy. Nine dollars. Beef jerky is really expensive, but I think I'm gonna try this. Bucky's beef jerky is a little. Y'all listen closely to the song. They is playing gospel. <laughs> I knew I love Bucky for a reason. Period. Okay, no more looking at candy. I don't need it. It's with me. Be I love my white gospel music. I love my black gospel music. I love my R&B, hip hop gospel. I love it all. I do not discriminate. Let's try out these. Oh, I Bucky's beef jerky is a little taste of country. Some even say it's world famous. Made from solid strips of beef and smoked in Texas. It is a memory of home while you're out on the road. Let's see what you're heading for. Mmm. 
smell good. They sure put a handful in here though. But $9. You better be good. Good. It's a real subtle. Like it's not it's not as smoky as I thought it would be, but the spice is definitely there. Mmm. It's good. But I wouldn't pay nine dollars for this again. It's good though. And my last vlog, Miss. One of y'all said something about my lighting. Now listen up here. I'm going to turn on my actual light so y'all can see that it's trash. So, I keep that light off and I use my lamp as my light until I get around to changing the uh, light bulb up in there to a brighter one. Because that light is too dim for me. And also, y'all, that last Vlogmas was low-key. A little last minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could have used one of my mama's ring lights, but she don't like me using her lights because I broke one before. So... And she real iffy about me using her lights. But y'all understand. Because I'm not cheap. They're not cheap at all. Hmm. I just filmed the video with my lamp light. But. Better quality. Better lighting. Y'all just stick with me. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I got my camera mm. mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh it's spicy mm. Mm. my camera I'm going to be using it pretty soon Um, I just use I just like using my phone more because it's like it's more convenient it's easier to just pull out my phone. And I'm more comfortable when I'm out recording on my phone. Cute. She's cute though. And it's just like editing on my phone is so much easier as well. But like once I start editing on my computer, like that's the real deal. Like I'm really in there, in there. Like I'm really a YouTuber. I just like, I feel like I'm not ready for that yet. I just like the convenience of everything being on my phone. My editing app, my camera, just everything. Anyway. Chipotle be having the best plastic forks and spoons and knives when I tell you you eat anything with these forks it's gonna be good every time it's just something about it anyways we're gonna mix this up and surprisingly I eat the tomatoes y'all I used to hate tomatoes but I think I can do these because they're a little bit smaller and they're crunchy so I'm gonna mix this up and try not to spill it I don't think I can eat the second one. In my mind, I think I can, and I think I should. 
because I'm trying to gain weight. But I don't think I can eat a second one. You want to sleep? Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this goodness. So good, I promise you. If you have not had a Caesar salad from Bucky's, get you one. It's so good. Okay, toodles. This is my homemade fruit dip. This is just some cream cheese, um, powdered sugar, and a little tiny bit of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to eat it with my grapes. Uh-huh. So good. When you want something sweet and you ain't got time to go to the store, you don't feel like going to the store, look and see if you got some cream cheese in our refrigerator. And I know you got some type of fruit, powdered sugar. You ain't even got to have vanilla extract. Mix that together. There you go. Mm-hmm. So this is my dinner for tonight. Soak it up the sun. And I'm about to have Bible study. This is my new Bible that I had got like months ago from Lakewood. But um, I would always use my study Bible because I was just always used to her. But anyways, y'all, this is the end of this vlog. I'm sorry if I sound congested and sick. I'm not sorry. Why am I apologizing for the way that I sound? Anyways, this is the end of this video.